against the Barry Colts uh, in terms of uh, your performance tonight. Uh, how'd you feel out there? Uh, I felt great, but you know, I obviously think I can always be better, and I definitely should have had a couple of those goals back, especially the one, uh, the second and the third. But uh, uh, I can't complain. You know, big two, big two points. That's what we really needed, and uh, that's what it comes down to is just getting those uh, those wins before the end of the year. And in terms of the team uh, playing in front of you, uh, what were your thoughts in terms of the support you got? Either come, you know. In terms of the forwards going back before the defenders uh, playing their role? I think uh, the reason why we, we played so well and we had such a good game was, I think, because we had such good D zone coverage, like coming back, especially the forwards made some great plays. Uh, you know, picking up the high guy it makes it easier on myself, it makes it easier on the D. Uh, and we had a lot of, with all the guys out with injuries, it was nice to see some of the guys that, you know, step up and, and, uh, and deliver, like, you know, Betch, Zach, uh, Becker. Uh, and and it, it, it came from everyone. It was a team win, uh, and we need to bring that uh, every single night, game in, game out. Joe, pretty, pretty intense uh, first period. Obviously, it seems like a lot of the game was decided there, but uh, just how on top of your toes did everybody have to be uh, second period onwards? Yeah, well, you know, when, when we get such a big lead, especially in the first period, it's uh, it's easy for, for everyone to kind of, you know, think about points, think about, or, you know, mind wanders because, you know, you think you have it in the bag. But uh, it just shows that we got to play a full 60 minutes. And, and, they, and they came out really hard in the second and, and they pushed really hard in the third. So it was, uh, it was good that we kind of kept our head up and, uh, and, we made, and we made plays. We made the smart plays. And, again, we got the two points and that's all that matters. And, Joe, uh, with this win tonight, how do you guys carry this momentum from this game into Thursday's game in North Bay against the Battalion? Well, I think it's just recognizing and realizing what, we, what we've done so well and the reason why we win. And, which, and like I said, I think it's because we all played as a five-man unit. We all, we all backtracked. We all had our guys. And we were great defensively. So we, we know this, this whole season that's been our, you know, our bread and butter. Um, and it's hard to do every game in, game out. But we have to do it if we want to be, uh, if we want to be a championship team. And, and it just... Uh, and we got to bring it again, for not only just this weekend, just the rest of the, the season into playoffs. Um, statistically, for yourself, uh, being at the top of the league and uh, both the main areas, uh, they kind of hold him. So, you know, those are team, those are team stats, I'm sure, to some extent. But how exciting has it been for you to uh, sustain that over most of the season? Yeah, well, that's you know, that's what we've been talking about as a team. You know, it's it's easy to. Not that it's easy, but, you know, you can go on 10-game point streaks and, you know, fall off a little bit, then go on another one and, and kind of bounce around. But it's just if we want to be a championship team and we want to be and make a deep run, we have to bring it every night. And that's what separates, uh, you know, the men from the boys uh, about, you know, bringing in for the entire 68 games every year. And, and, uh, and, yeah, and yeah, as far as statistics, it's just a reflection of how well the team we are and how well we've been playing. How much of uh, you and Roman push each other for a tandem who could go uh, one game or the other? Yeah, well, we we have a lot of confidence in each other, and and we have obviously like we're competitive guys, so we we always we have a great relationship. We always want to push each other, uh, and we always want to be better because it's reflection of like I said, it's a reflection of how well the team's been doing, and and uh, and yeah, we need to. It's it's nice that everyone can rely on everyone. And with the playoffs now officially in the officially in the horizon for you guys, what do you think the mentality is from your perspective in the locker room about these upcoming uh, regular season games? Yeah, like I said, we know how how we have to play. We know how we want to play, and we know what wins. So I found the past maybe month or so we've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. But I think tonight we proved to ourselves and we proved to others that we know exactly how to play. We know what works for us and. And like I said, we have to bring it every single every single game and and uh, and into playoffs. And my last question for you is: Lucas Weiss of the Athletic had the call tonight on on the game. He called you Joe the Power Ranger in tonight's game. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? On that? Yeah, I've been given a lot of nicknames over the years. You know, Lone Ranger, Power Ranger, Forest Ranger. It, it's fun. I like it. Like I, I used to watch him as a as a kid. So I always. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was uh, them for Halloween a couple times. <laughs> Blue Ranger by any chance? Blue. I was both, oh, so it works out well. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've gone green right. myself on for a couple yeah. <laughs> Awesome, yeah. All right, okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. So, have a good night. See ya. Nice show. Hey, James. Two goals. Good, how are you? Good. 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 All right. So, James, two goals for you tonight, including one heck of a wrist shot you had on that power play. Uh, what are your thoughts on your game overall tonight? Yeah, you know, I thought I got back to work and I, I played the way I, I should be playing. You know, I was away from it for a few weeks, but. 
you know, I had a nice goal tonight, but, you know, a couple good passes, good keepings, you know, we played well as a team today. And in terms of with this win tonight and the last two weeks of play under consideration, do you feel the page is turning in a positive way in terms of getting back to your style of play? Yeah, for sure. I think we today we showed how hard we can play, and you know we were hard in all three zones of the ice, and you know it helped us, and we got a quick win, win for us tonight. So, how do you guys carry this momentum going into North Bay on Thursday against the Battalion? Yeah, we know how much a, a big game that is. You know, it's a division game. We want to win the division title, and so do they. So, you know, I think that's if that's not enough motivation, I don't know what is. And my last question for you is, with the playoffs now on the horizon, we talked to Joe Ranger about this. What is the mentality going into the rest of the regular season from your perspective of play? Just get as high as we can. You know, you want to finish as high as you can, get home ice advantage. So, you know, we got to keep grinding, keep playing hard, and hopefully get that. Awesome. Uh, last game is very to uh, disappointing one, but uh, you still have pretty sizable edge in shots. Did you look at uh, that aspect as a momentum builder, knowing you're getting your chances at least you can build on that? Yeah, I didn't think we played a terrible game in Barry. You know, we had lots of chances. You know, you know, a couple bad bounces that didn't go our way, and you know, that's hockey. It's the way it goes. You know, play teams and they still come out on top. It happens, but you know, it helped us tonight. Um, you and uh, Luke, uh, Luca, yes, uh, tied in points for pretty much the whole season, and both points approaching the uh, franchise record for points. Uh, did you sort of uh, consider that at any point? Does it matter very much to you, or is it? Uh, Kind of a team game, fixing that first. Yeah, you know, it's more of a team game. We kind of just go out there, play our game. You know, points come. You know, obviously everyone says they don't look at it, they do. Okay. But you know, it's it's cool, obviously. But you know, we're just going to try and win off the games. Thank you, thank you, James. Yeah, we had Power Rangers discussion with uh, Joe before this. Uh, uh, Gary Darrell. Uh, well, JR, a 5 3 win against the Barry Colts, uh, as always, in terms of what you saw out there. What did you like? What did you dislike? Yeah, I think there was, you know, we're missing a lot of guys, so it's not a lot of flow to the game. But I thought our guys really, really worked hard. I liked the physicality of the night, and uh, we finally. Uh, you know, we worked a lot harder. We got some dirty goals, some greasy goals there tonight. So, so I liked them. I liked them. So I mean, they're, just, they're well coached. So they take away a lot of the ice, and they had their they had their chances. So I think we've got to be we got to clean up the D zone a little bit. We're, not, we're, we're quick enough down low. But yeah, that would get technical. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> got a uh, good extended timeout uh, right before the uh, major penalty in the first period. Uh, yep. was it, and although it took a while to get going on power play there, was there much that uh, you went over with your guys before they We went did back? yesterday in practice. Okay. Right? And uh, we just got to get back. I don't, I don't like saying we got to keep it simple, but we got to be more desperate on the power play. And <laughs> still Quinson's. That we scored the goals when Del Bell came out of the box <laughs> because he is pretty phenomenal with the puck weight. So, yeah. so throughout the second half, you mentioned how you're curious about how you want to mix the line combinations. And tonight we saw Luke Misa playing on the right wing with Hardy and Del Bell Belouz. Yeah. Just curious to get your thoughts on how the combination went in your opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I talked about it in here after the second. It's not something that I'm looking down the road, but I want to... Mesa's nice been playing really well in the last four or five games. His, his game has gone up. So throw him up there with our two top scorers. Because Mesa is going to be that in a few years. You know, the late birthday, so his job here is after three years. So so I want him to play with some really creative guys. Mesa's is really creative. And I thought he did well up there. It's not something that I'm going to keep, but it, it's... Kind of experiment time for me. <laughs> so, so I thought he did well. He's, he's played great the last four, five, now six games. So he's been real good. We saw Owen Beck snap a uh, six point uh, scoreless. Three, so although the whole team's been having six uh, game goal, six, goalless drought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So no, I was good, a little bit. Good to see him get that. It's a position that we've had him in there quite a bit, you know, down low on the power play. If he puts a stick on the ice, he scores. But tonight he did that. It's a first-year guy. Sometimes he was battling with guys. The pucks would come by and he'd miss them. 
So we're working on it in practice just to go out. You can push guys in their hips, but if your stick is down, it's going to go out your stick in. And I think that's how he scored, right? Yeah. So it was good for him to get that monkey off his back. Yeah. <laughs> were you still seeing a lot of effective effectiveness from him uh, away from the puck and in other areas, even though he's not scoring? Uh, when, so I think we've talked about it before. So when a player is in his first year in the league, they're always going to hit a bit of a wall. Sure. And I think Owen Beck hit that wall. And then what happens when they hit the wall? They start, why they hit the wall is they start cheating offensively. So Owen wasn't coming as low anymore in the D zone. So when he was getting the puck, he was closer to their players. So he, he was hurting himself. So he wasn't getting the puck out. And then, then he's not getting out, so he's not getting as many scoring chances. So we show him some stuff on film and go back to the way we have our system is he his skate's got to be almost touching the, the blue paint the, the goal crease in our end and it wasn't tonight it was uh, so it's good to see him good to see him put that back into his game and yeah, his, his goal was in the power play but his line was a, a plus line today so plus chances mm. and in terms of uh, and in terms of uh, the last two weeks of play tonight, uh, including, do you feel the team is starting to turn the page in terms of getting back to their own style of play? As you know, last time we talked to you, that was a big thing for you. Getting the team yeah, back to you know what? I think we went through three games where I think we gave up 14 goals or something. So we got some work to do, no question about it. We gave up three tonight, which I don't like. Um, I got to watch the game back. I haven't watched it. I just started watching it now. I think there's things that we need to still work on and, and get better, but we've got a little bit of time. We're running out of time, but we got a little bit of time. We need to get those four 19-year-olds back in the lineup, and that'll help, uh, help us play harder. Uh, but tonight was a start. I really liked our physicality. I, I, I did like I liked our speed tonight. I like the fact that we were able to score five. We snake bit a little bit. So. I'll take the win, take the pluses, and then I'll watch the film tonight a couple times and see where we can fix. And tonight you missed, we're missing a couple key players in Charlie Callahan, Jake Huberty, Olivier Vicom, and Ty Collins. Um, can and fans, Max Dodic. And Max Dodic, too. Uh, could, could we possibly see one of them return for the, ne for the next game in North Bay against the Battalion? I hope so. I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Um, it's a day-to-day -day thing, so Bender will work work with those guys today and then work on them again tomorrow and see if we can get some of them back. So, but, yeah, when you're missing five, 19-year-olds, it's, it's tough to win in this league. So I don't know. I, I, I wish I knew, but I don't know. Because we miss them. We do miss them. And with the playoffs officially on the horizon now for the team, when it, when it comes to uh, the last set of regular season games, what do you think the, the mentality is you and the coaching staff want to instill in the players when it comes to winning as many regular season games uh, as possible, even though you have a bunch of players? Uh, it's really playing the right way. It's, it's, I've never really concerned myself with the result. I've concerned myself with the process. If we do the right thing, we'll be on the right end of it. So... We've got to get playing the right way more consistent. That's what the focus is right now. Okay. Yeah.